Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Spider-Man on PS4. Um, we have more of these cool little uh, puzzle bonus puzzles to do, and get some possible research tokens out of these. So that's pretty exciting. So let's do these. Get some get some experience for Spider-Man, and then uh, Running tests we'll go see what else the game has to offer. Biocompatibility. Back to that one. Oops. Once again. Ah, but that's still wrong because I need a third one on that one. Okay, so how can I make this far one work? There it is. Wow, that was tough. Decent candidate for a direct tissue interface, but I feel like we can do better. Wow, that was something else. <laughs> Hopefully this won't be quite hmm, as bad. Graphene. But the structure is super unique. What is this? Let's do the more complicated one first. Yep, I ever complicated it. been nano latticed. Wow, that's strong. Could be a great structural element for a prosthetic. All right, cool. So we finished that section. Peter. Oh, Peter. Don't even know why I'm bothering to record this. Norman has neutered us, and soon the lab will be out of funds. We were on the verge of such great things. If we had just a bit more time and money, I know all the ideas in our heads would have come pouring it. Wait. Ideas in our heads. My God, Peter, that's it! What are you babbling about, old man? And there's no more of these ones. So, alright. I'll do that. Anyway, so let's, uh... Let's go check on Harry's thingy magic that's Peter's never last episode. Now, a lot of people ask me what I think of Mayor Osborne, but what matters is what you think. Let's ask our first caller. You're on with J. Jonah James. Hi, I think Mayor Osborne's doing a terrific job. He's cleaned the city up and expanded the economy. With all due respect to the office of mayor, the police cleaned up the city, and entrepreneurs boosted the economy. I do approve of many of the mayor's initiatives, like cracking down on quality of life crimes and reducing red tape, but I think he takes credit for a lot of things other people do. He's ambitious, which is not a bad thing, but I always say, be careful of people with agendas. We used to have a vigilant press to keep politicians honest. But it's a shadow of its former self. Now all you've really got is me.
Oh, there's that. Harry left me a message about these before he left the room. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. Alright, well that sounds like something I'm not going to do on camera. <laughs> so, there's that. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is oh, to no, there's like small little missions. That's contaminants cool. contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high, and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Okay, let's figure out what we gotta do here. Is that what I gotta f swing through, I'm guessing? There's like the literal clouds. Nasty as they are, I gotta yep. swing right through those clouds. Kinda odd, don't you think, how I just now started seeing these clouds? Okay. Come on, game. You literally just gave me the option to leap to that. There we go. Okay. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. Dang, Oscorp, you nasty. And gotcha. Well, I guess there's really no proof yet that it's Oscorp, but let's face it, it's gonna be Oscorp. I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff, anyway. I don't know, I might do some of these on camera. These are... If these are all mission-based. It'd be kind of cool to do some of these on camera. How'd I miss that? Come on, game. There we go. Got it. You know, this can't be good for Spider-Man's lungs. He might need those, considering, you know, he's a superhero. Kind of breathe the fight. Feels like I'm breathing from a tailpipe. <laughs> Dang it. I totally screwed that up. Alright, where's this cloud? It's I must right be there. freaking these people out. Well, what else is new? Huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Smokestack picture I ever took. 
That's probably the only smokestack picture you've ever taken in Spider-Man, to be fair. Not quite what I was going for a game, but I guess it'll work. Perfect. I don't know how that guy would feel if he realized that some that Spider-Man was taking pictures of his car while he was driving. Like, dude, why is Spider-Man taking pictures of my car? So I was looking over his shoulder all the time, thinking Spider-Man's gonna come after him whenever he's uh coming around town. That's gotta be some form of harassment. Oops, I missed. Oh come on, game. Great light on that one. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. That would actually be kind of cool. just stopped the public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Eh, I suppose that's true. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. All right, Herman. Me versus you, part two. I will see you guys in about 750 meters. Peter, I've been looking into the demons. Or not. Sounds like they've quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep God bothering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. Until then, I got Spider-Man to do. Ugh. Oh, Herman. I have a present for you. It's in a glove. It may Come or may not in. be my fist. Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid, you just stupid. You are so well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking? Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me! Stand still! Coming your way! He's like, no time to dodge this stuff. Alright, this is a hard boss fight, because I don't actually, like, I know what I'm supposed to do, it just doesn't give me time to do it. Remember our first fight? Me, so young and stupid, you just stupid. You talk too much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking? Okay, now I can do some real damage. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, don't kill me! Who are they? 
Also, I like how I hit the dodge button when it tells me to, and I don't actually dodge. See what I mean? Alright, I think I got it now. I'm probably still gonna lose this fight, but... Yeah. Alright, I think I figured it out now. I just gotta wait for him to get kinda worn down and then hit him. Me, so young and stupid. You just stupid. You talk too much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who did Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I do, they'll kill me! I'm good. Ugh, come on, game. There's nothing in range for me to actually hit him with. Of course not. Okay, catch this one with your face. There we go. You know, people don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trip. It's all the rage. No. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. oh, come on, Herman. You tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. Again, game, if you're not going to let me dodge it, why give me the dodge thing at all? I'm going to get the, uh, the pattern here. This guy's gotten shocker all shook up. You son of a... Okay, 
Okay, last chance to give up. This time I really mean it. We're going! Okay, I was kidding before. Now is your last last chance. Seriously. Oh, come on, game. Sorry, Herman. Ah! You brought this on yourself. Literally. Did, did, did he just kill the cushion? That makes me sad. The cushion can't die. That's not how this works. He was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Like a high school kid? Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the demon gang. Demon gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on demon uh, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. I right, guess. Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. You know, I, uh, I think we're going to call this an episode, and I think I may do all the research things in a live stream. 10.30, be advised. Masked suspects are attacking an armored car. Any officers near Madison, proceed to the crime scene. And it looks like there's new thugs to fight. So, I might be doing some live streaming of this game here relatively soon. Uh, of course, by the time you see this episode, I probably will already have done it. So, yeah, if you guys don't want to miss me doing stuff on games like this that, uh... You know, you don't get to know about until I'm doing it until much later because of how I film my episodes. Follow me on Twitch, get notifications, that's how you'll find out. So, alright guys, we'll see you next time.